Josh, it is time to pick up the lane closure. Here, the crew is discussing the method they will be using to retrieve the cones and signs. As always, planning is a necessity. A brief discussion is all it takes to make the task safer and faster. This crew will be using the forward mode of cone retrieval to pick up their closure. This method was introduced in 1982 and has been in use by Caltrans maintenance forces throughout the state since that time. It is not intended that the forward mode of cone retrieval should be the only accepted method. However, there are many advantages to using this procedure and its use should be strongly encouraged. When using the forward mode, it is necessary to first remove any lane close signs that you may have in your closure prior to beginning the actual cone retrieval. The closure truck must not stop during cone retrieval while using the forward mode. As you see here, when the actual pickup begins, the lane is clear and the cone truck is totally protected by the shadow vehicle. The Type 1 trailer mounted aero board will be left on the shoulder operating in the aero mode until all the cones have been retrieved. As the cone retrieval progresses, note that the appearance of the operation is like that of a highway striping or sweeping operation. That is, it moves slowly in a temporarily closed lane for miles at a time without incident. As stated before, the forward mode of cone retrieval has many advantages. First, Probably the most important advantage is that it greatly reduces exposure time to moving traffic. Second, the forward mode of cone retrieval virtually eliminates the possibility of a backing accident occurring while retrieving cones. Third, the closure truck is always protected by the shadow vehicle. Fourth, the cones in front of the cone truck prevent anyone from cutting in ahead of the operation. Fifth, while operating in the forward mode, the closure truck operator has only to concentrate on driving forward and maintaining the correct spacing from the cones. The shadow truck driver has only to watch the closure truck to maintain the proper spacing and occasionally glance in both mirrors to check traffic. Sixth, in the event of an errant vehicle encroaching into the operation, both the shadow truck and the lane closure truck can easily take evasive action or accelerate rapidly to avoid the collision or at least lessen the impact. While operating in the backing mode, taking any kind of evasive action would be difficult. When the cone pickup is completed, the crew will circle around and pick up their warning signs using the same method as they did when they put them up. As you can see here, the forward mode is an efficient method of cone retrieval. Its use should be encouraged. Next, we'll examine the reverse mode of